going on guys, I am Yui and we are back with a Minecraft episode. This is back again with the project. This has not been around for a little bit and uh, there's been quite a few things going on in the world. People have been coming in and having some fun and messing about and doing a lot of build during the actual episodes and that. But without, without off camera, nothing nothing has actually happened on camera since really. I've Nothing's been recorded that I've been building and everything has just appeared basically so we were taking a little look around because there's quite a few things to be looking at but obviously we're going to be looking around the quickly a little bit quick update on what's been going on and we're going to be getting back into the build because i want to kind of do some construction in the world because i'm going to start doing the um i'll tell you that in a minute actually but yeah obviously this house has been replaced on the morning this is now fucking infusions house but i don't like the floor don't know about you guys but i don't like it personally it's too glowy here just like real boring but yeah, then we have Liam's house here, LPD Mercs. This is his. He's got a nice little coats barrier with emerald in the wall. But yeah, little underground area, little bedroom in that. So we've got that. Then we have the windmill. I think that was in the last episode. I don't know. But yeah, Cameron's house is being built here. This is what he hasn't actually completed yet, but that's going to be quite a big build. He's going to be having lots of floors in it. Um, the dock little house is going to be built here on the water, all the boats in and all, going to be all, all nice and that, you know, some boats and that. The Huey has been built, a helicopter, it was quite nice. I built that as I well, actually took, don't actually take that long but it is quite, it looks really nice, I do like it a lot. The windmill has been built with a Scottish flag on because a Scotsman built it and this is absolutely awesome, I love this so much, it's such, it's such an awesome creation in the world. And then we have Eden's house, we have a modern house that I built, which looks alright. Actually this is a Corrales house, I replicated it from Corrales who built one. And then I just thought it looks quite nice, I thought I'd put one in my world. KVHQ has his house, Corey who made this, with like a trippy floor, with like the pixel, all the multi block thing. And then, my little house on the hill, we have KVHQ's other house over here, on this part here which is just not even meant to be built yet. I'm going to try and avoid doing something. I'm going to do this first. Try and avoid the view. I don't think you've seen it yet. Nope, if I'm looking at recording from where I've just flown, you have not seen it. So yeah, I would say there's a pathway up. It's a long pathway going all the way through. And as you can see, guys, there is a quad floor, bu quad floor building right there. Like, I built this. This is my new house. I was... Actually, where the fuck? Oh, I know why. Okay, yeah. But yeah. My house was built all the way over there from the starting one. Like, my house was over there, like, right in the back corner where it first started. Well, my, where the actual world first started. But I chose against it and built a new one because I want some more stuff in it. I want actual areas for everything. And later in stuff, I want to be having names and things of people who help me in the world. I'm going to have a big room in this. I'm going to have a room upstairs. It's going to have a the names of every player who has ever helped me on this. And it's going to be quite fun. So... We obviously have, as you can see, some glass things. We have an indoor garden. I saw these and they look extremely nice. They look really nice to have in your house. I'm not sure why, they just do look good, but just genuinely just look quite nice within the building. Because it gives it like more of an indoor, outdoor feel. Sounds kind of weird, but yeah. <laughs> but obviously more upstairs. More of an upstairs area, a little bit of a water feature. Got a little, little area here, probably a little bit for storage. And I'm thinking... The part for names is probably going to be somewhere in here. Of the names of every player that helped me in the world. Or maybe even in here because I can have it as all the blocks. I like bring the logs down like I did before and have them all the way around. And then have the whole end of the room filled with names of everybody. But yeah guys, obviously, obviously as you can see it's empty. It's not been long since I built it. So I haven't done much in the actual structure part of it. But... You know guys, I have built this upstairs, this is quite cool. Obviously there is a third floor, I'm not, obviously there's four floors as you can see, but yeah there's a little empty room here, but that will be built later on. That's what I'm thinking, like that one and the lower one, like the full thing all the way up is going to have names in. And this has a helicopter on top of it, this actually looks pretty cool. It looks like a cargo, but it's not very, in comparison to the size of the Huey, it's basically the same size as the Huey, but it's a cargo, it kind of looks pretty weird, but looks quite nice I reckon and the main part which I love about this house is the downstairs like the the, the, the base floor the fourth 
well, the f first, the first one. I can't really say ground because it's in mid-air, it's got supports, but you know, this part. Just for the fact of this glass, guys, I made it look so modern and so nice just the way you can look out and look out into where everything's happening and what's going on in the world. And there's this floor, guys, this is going to be the floor that just is going to be living space. It goes out onto a little balcony where you can see Eden's boat, Eden's house, the spawn point of the world. Quite convenient that I built it here because the spawn point of the world is right next to the house, as you can tell. We use houses over there and stuff like that, so I can see everyone's. And then the room upstairs, which has got ladders going up, this is going to be storage as well. Big storage room, because this world is going to be turned into survival at some point, just not yet. Because I want to be building everything that I want in first, and then finishing it off later in the actual build. But, as you can see guys, there's been a lot going on. It's been a very busy time. I literally, yesterday, flattened all this out. This was covered in hills, and I flattened it all out, because I'm going to be starting building. Stuff starting to get pretty much extremely serious in this world, because... I'm not going to be mucking about them, I'm not just going to be building random stuff everywhere, there's going to be stuff in every place, there's going to be a house here probably, there's going to be another building, there's going to be more like gardens and stuff everywhere, little houses and there's going to be a building here next to the helipad because it needs to be something to relate to that nicely, probably another house here and just like everywhere is going to be covered in everything basically, there's going to be living space everywhere and the best part of this map I think so far is due to Cameron X20 Corvette because he's such a bitch and he can build so well. He built a beach house in my world. This is so nice. I he, he told me not to come yet. That sounds really wrong. He told me not to come round the back of the map where he was because he didn't want me to see it. He wanted it to be like basically kind of a surprise. So I was nowhere near him. I was off building my own thing. I was I was miles away doing my own thing. And then I came across this one. He actually asked me to come to him. I teleported to him and he gave this to my attention and it is amazing guys. It's got a pool. It's got a little balcony area on the pool. Got the water feature, it's got its own, its own little garden with some bed bit, a like little housing. And upstairs, in the main area, we have obviously living spaces. Obviously, I have no clue what that is, but we'll just ignore it because I have no idea what it is. And then we have this, we have a little bar, with like all the seating area, the little fire, and everything. And the thing I like about Cameron is he knows how to make the actual sofas, you can see. Like, you can actually sit on the sofa, you can actually go in them. Dun, dun, dun. Oh shit. Dun. So, but yeah, obviously he can build, so he's good at it. But yeah, we're gonna be getting some 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 more serious level now. This 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 is what me and uh, Liam started producing the other day. Not the other day. You last night we started doing it last night. We're gonna. Be, I'm starting to make the actual city area the build the builds now because I want to be building some actual buildings. Obviously, as you can see, guys, they're not fucking huge because I want them to be in comparison to size with the actual characters like Steve and that. But this, the pathway is quite large and it is a very inclusive build. It needs to be taken seriously. Like, I'm, everything's taken seriously on this world because I've literally thrown two people off the world already for not actually trying. They've just been taking the piss and just mucking about what has to be on the world. Like, I want to be building quite a few things. There's going to be a city district, there's going to be like all the towers and the city builds, like big mansions and stuff like that. There's going to be all the skyscrapers and the office buildings and everything. And then there's going to be even more stuff with like, probably like countryside. So I'll be deliberately making massive farmhouses, like big farm hut, big barns even. Farm, farming houses, barns, pens, like all the massive uh, fields for crops and that. And just having the whole area really set out, I and mean, I'm probably gonna have like mountain houses and stuff like that, like in the hills. But everything's gonna be happening on this world because I want it to. I want everything to be nice on this world, I want everything to be taken care of and noticed basically because I like this world quite a lot already. Everything's gone. I thought earlier that I did, uh, I do. It sounds really stupid and it sounds like I've done so much, but I do kind of regret not doing this on the flatland because. Everything takes extremely long on this. You've got to actually flatten out all your areas. You've got to get it all sorted. You've got to flatten it out. Then you've got to build and you've got to think of what you're building while you're destroying the area. And on creative, you can literally just build on flat. And if you fuck it up, you can just get rid of it straight away. Whereas if you're on this, you've got to kind of like proceed to do what you're doing and then actually fill an area and put it back if you don't want it and stuff like that. It's just crazy things that go on with it. But it's all worth it. I do enjoy this world. Everyone who comes on thinks it's great. I get a lot of comments saying that everyone thinks that the world is awesome and stuff like that. And everyone loves it. But 
I do want to get a lot of more people on this world because as you can see guys there's a lot of spaces where all of this is probably going to be the city area because there's a lot of place around here all this at the back corner of the map even hitting the sand bale in the bottom in the back in the back corner there's a smug spawner there but yeah everything that's going to be going on is starting to get pretty serious now I'm not going to be spending days and days and days doing this I'm just going to be doing it every so often probably like come on it for a few hours a day I'm not going to be doing it all day every day I'm probably going to have a couple of days whilst I'm off fully of like a, a full day on this world but I'm not going to be going crazy I want to keep it stable I want to keep myself sane basically to actually like keep it nice and not have everything just rushed I want it to be nice I want it to, I want it to be kept up with on videos over the period of time and just everything can be kept up on and checked and like you get updates quite regularly with it so but you know guys it's more just like an update video the, the majority of these are they just like keep up videos so you know what exactly what we're doing I'm going to be incorporating now as you can see guys I'm doing like a lot more building and actually like uh, putting stuff in the world there's probably going to be some more actual build videos and you'll, you'll see them coming along but for now they're just going to be catching up and updating you guys on what's going to be built and what's going to be what is being built in the world and showing you guys so you can actually see what has been built by some people in the world like Carver and Liam and Owen and everyone like that because people can build I have a lot of friends that can build they are great at building and that's one thing I respect them for because they don't mess about they don't build shocking things in the world they make it look nice they want to do it well for themselves and to do it well for the world because they've been part of it since the beginning so they want to help me out and I want to know that I do like everything nice because as you can see guys I put a lot of fucking time and effort into a big ass wall for the world for god's sake so you know, I hope you guys enjoyed, even though it's not been much. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe and share. And you know, you guys, I've been your boy Yui.